Hello, I'm Vanessa and today's video is my entry for the Winter 2016 Biannual Bibliothon DIY It Was In The Book Challenge. So for this video I'm going to show you how to make the props for Isabel Lightwood from the Mortal Instruments. First I have her stele. Yeah, it's super, super easy to make this and see. And it shimmers and shines and it's really fun. So first, all you need is some <laughs> foam. And this is from old uh, laptop case. So yeah, it's pretty much what you think. Basically you just cut the foam and foam cuts super easily. And you cut it into a stele shape. Um, all you really need to do is just cut it It's better to make it a little extra long so you can whittle. Then you just even it out. And then you want to make the end pointy. The ends are, both ends are not flat. They're both kind of pointed. So I would just cut like that. Cut off the corners and make them meet. Like that. Basically. And then you do that to the other end as well. Once you've gotten the shape right, uh, you've got the shape that you want, um, you just start painting. <coughs> so the color I used to make this since hers is a kind of really deep, it's a really deep red. Um, I originally tried it with a bright red and I didn't really like it. I wanted it to be a little bit deeper so what I ended up using was just a regular acrylic paint and this one is very red. This particular can is so old that the store doesn't even exist anymore but you can find something probably exactly the same at like your local craft store or like Michael's or any other craft store. Probably even Walmart or Target probably has it uh, in their arts and crafts section. They actually seem to have a lot of different paints there too. So you can pretty much find it anywhere. And then this one, again, all of these are from a store that doesn't exist anymore. So I took the red and the this copper color. It's kind of a shimmery metallic copper. Uh, I mix that with the red. I just wanted to give it a little bit of an extra shimmer if you look really, really close. I don't know if you can see, but if you look really, really close, it's kind of got extra little, extra little shimmer of color in the actual red. Just mix these and paint it. Um, I ended up doing like two or three coats. It took me a really long time to get this painted. I had it drying overnight like once or twice. Because I wanted to cover up the little foamy holes, little kind of holes that are in the foam. But then when I realized afterwards when I added the silver glitter, uh, it covered it up and so it didn't even matter. So you only need like one or two coats maybe. I did like three I think. But yeah, you don't need that many coats of paint. And once it's all dry, and it will take you a little bit to dry because you have the foam really sucks up the paint. But again, you're going to be covering it with sparkly glitter, so it doesn't even really matter if you like cover everything because the glitter will fill in any gaps of color that you may have. So yeah, once you've gotten all, all the sides all nice and painted, uh, then you will go over it with another coat of paint, and this one will be your silvery glitter to make it shine. Now that's really fun because I just, I don't have a glue gun, which is the main reason why I made it like this instead of all the glue gun using tutorials out there. Um, so I just kind of wanted to make it sparkle. And it does. So it's kind of fun and sparkly. Yay. <laughs> Alright, and then we have the sneaky portion. Um, all I used was some <laughs> glitter sparkly 
Christmas ribbon and yeah so it's just Christmas ribbon but you want to make sure you get the kind that has the wire in it because the wire is what's going to make it hold its shape so this one's kind of like a gauzy clear but lined with silver you can get one probably look even better if it was just all silver part and then it's also got like the glitter parts which is perfect so all I did was I literally just twisted it because the wire is going to make it twist really nicely twist it around your steel and then cut it and um, I actually added a little bit of masking tape just to the ends to make it kind of hold a snake head and snake tail kind of look to it and so yeah so once you're done twisting it I'm not gonna cut that since I already have one and yeah so you just slide your and it holds it shaped nicely too you just slide your little steel through and pick which end you want to be the pointy end so yeah I added a little bit of extra glitter to the tip to make the pointy end and there you have it you have an Isabel Lightwood Stelle. Next we have Izzy's Demon Sensing Necklace. Mm. This one is also very easy. If you have any sort of experience with jewelry making, this would be really, really easy for you. Even if you don't, it's probably pretty simple. Uh, I make jewelry all the time, so. I actually had all the supplies for all of this stuff just in my house. Actually everything for this one is from Michaels. Everything. everything. The clasp, the chain, everything. So, I don't want to take it apart. So it's really, if you have a red pendant that's even better, a clear crystal looking pendant. If you have a red pendant that's even better but I didn't have one. So, to make it look like it was a red pendant, use a piece of red cardboard. And um, it's actually just the back of a, it's actually just a bead label. And then this is just a mess of wires that I twisted to make it look like that pretty kind of uh, swirly pattern that they have going around her pendant. So yeah, so you just place the cardboard, pop it back in, so yeah. And so for the wire, I just use just regular wire. This came in a beading kit. Uh, this was 20, yeah, so you can see that. Um, and so I think they're called round nose pliers, also from the same beading kit. Bead jewelry making kit thing that I got. It's pretty simple. You just, it took a lot of wire, which is fine because I don't use the wire anyway. When I make bracelets and things, I like to use elastic, this elastic cord stuff. But I just had the wire because the wire came in the same kit as the pliers, which is why I was buying the kit. And you didn't need to know that. So what you would have to do, all I did was I, you know, I used a whole bunch of wire, but I'm pretty sure wire is really cheap. So I take the round of pliers and I just like twist it uh, like around and in like different shapes and stuff and you can see how easy it is well, like you can see how easy it is to shape the wire so I just went around and just shaped the wire uh, with this until it made this cool looking shape and it took me a while it took me like an hour or so I think I was watching TV while I did it but I think it turned out pretty well and as you see in the back it's <laughs> the back is just just a mess of wires just like crisscrossed constantly so yeah I just twisted it around and made this pattern and I'm sure anybody who tries to copy this DIY will end up with your own kind of cool unique looking pattern and it looks really cool especially on especially if you give it a little bit of distance it looks hold still it looks pretty it looks pretty cool I thought I was very pleased so for the chain part all you would do is just 
measure how long you want the chain to be and then just add your little lobster clasp or your favorite kind of clasp. Lobster clasps are my favorite kind of clasp because they're easiest to work, I feel like. And then your little jump ring to the end. And there you have it. And then you have Isabel Lightwood necklace. Next, we have Izzy's snake bracelet. Now this is the simplest one and I feel like it serves its purpose, but it's, it's very simple and it's kind of like, it's not exactly authentic looking, it's kind of artistic interpretation of it. This was pretty, really simple to make too. I used the same wire. I used extra wire to keep it on my wrist so it would stay there. And all I did was there are these beads that my grandma actually gave me. It's just some old beads and I thought they looked kind of cool. They looked almost like snake skin. So I just strung the silver and white ones alternating. Uh, so I just like alternated them and strung them along the wire and then I folded it in half to make this little snaky head and then I, I twisted it and I just twist it and just kind of the wire is very easy to work you just sort of mold it to look like uh, a snake and that's really it and then you just kind of wrap it around your wrist makeshift snake but it works as well it works good enough so i hope you enjoyed learning how to make a very easy versions of izzy's accessories or props and if you want to see the video where i actually use these props and do a little skit with them i'll link that in the description below um so thank you so much for watching have a great day bye